My duty here again and welcome back. Let me do a visa update because I haven't done a visa update in a while. Now, I finally got my visa about a month ago and I forgot, totally forgot to do a video on it. But anyway, so usually it takes around four weeks depending on where you are, what time of the year and stuff like that. But I finally got my visa. So now I've got my year visa. So I'm on a family reunion visa because uh, every time people ask me a lot about the visas, how much is this, how much is that, what, how do I get this visa, what's the best visa to get. Now for every situation it's completely different. So I'd advise you at the time, if you just come in here for a visit, then obviously consult a visa agent and do it that way it's a lot cheaper to do it yourself but once you've done it for a visa agent you kind of got the grips of it then by all means do it yourself it's a lot a lot cheaper it's basically a third the price you know what i mean so ah, bloody spiders everywhere up here but anyway you know if you're gonna get a say like a b211a if if you um especially western countries it's a lot easier just to go to a visa agent and get them to do it for you you just send them whatever information they require pay whatever their charges are shop around go to reliable sources because there's many people on there that say go to this visa agent go to that visa agent and a lot of people always comment saying oh are these even trustworthy we don't trust these and stuff like that well it's down to your own personal choice really it's your decision it's your money at the end of the day so you know do your own research as they say but anyway so this is where i'm at so it took them what was it four five months to actually give me my visa now i was on a b211a and that i had to apply for my family reunion visa a month before my b211a expired so basically i overstayed for like three four months until I got my visa so you know nothing was done you know nothing like you know I had to pay over stay charges or anything like that because obviously they had my passport and it took them so long to actually sort out my visa so the next stage will obviously I'll have to consult the immigration because the rules constantly change especially during a certain time with the coof that basically every week there was something different or something new constantly changing now my old b211a visa is probably out well it is out of date now because things have changed sevenfold by the time you know up to today's date which is currently well, let me see what the date is uh, we're on the 29th of august so Things are completely different now to what they was then, but again, rules are constantly changing. If you've got your visa, all you need to know is basically what you need to do when you get here, what requirements are needed when you enter the country. That's it, that's simple, right? So, those of you out there who keep asking me about certain visas, I don't know, I'm not up to date with them at the moment because I'm only doing it specifically for my criteria that I need to do at the moment. So for me, I'm alright now till next year. And then next year, obviously, I'll do another visa update to find out where I'm at now. Because basically, I'm aiming to get my Kitas and then eventually a Kitap or whichever way around it is. My wife mainly sorts that out because, you know, she contacts it, the immigration and speaks to them. And she's the one that deals with my visa. But all in all, if you're coming and you don't know what you're doing, go to a visa agent. That's my advice. Don't just ask people on YouTube because one, if the information is wrong, then again, you know, you, the only person you've got to blame is not the people you're asking the advice from, but yourself. So my recommendation is if you're unsure what you're doing all the time, go to a visa agent. Yes, it costs a lot more, but you'll get it done and it will be done quicker. If you do it yourself, it takes a lot longer and, well, it is a lot cheaper. But, you know, if you're just coming for a month's holiday, 
why you would want to worry about you know doing it all yourself and everything until you've done it several times yourself then go and do it yourself you know what i mean several times like through a visa agent and then do it yourself you know what i mean so try not to you know because i'm still getting comments in you know is this true what do i need i don't know because I don't know what your circumstances are. I don't know what visa you want. I don't know how long you're coming for. I don't know what your budgeting prices are. I'm sorry, but I can't. I can't answer the, every question for you because I don't know. It's not me being funny. It's I don't know. And if you want things done right, then do it properly. You know what I mean? So go to a visa agent, get them to sort it out for you. This instance, I got my family visa. I sorted it all by myself. Well, me and my wife did it between us. We sorted it all out got the information required and that's because we was in contact with the Makassar immigration office and they basically said right you need this this and this and they got us through it you know what I mean now if you're more long term you're already in the country you've probably already got a visa agent that you use then just use them you know what I mean it's better the devil you know you know what I mean so you know so Let's talk about my plans while I'm here. So, so far, I've got my chicken farm, I've got a pigeon farm, I've got my vanilla farm, and I grow fruit and vegetables. That's pretty much what I do uh, while I'm here. I also run my online businesses, and I'm trying to model through, trying to get things sorted, because the coof really messed up everything with me financially, but we're getting there. You know what I mean? A little bit of hard work pays a long way so anyway the current state of affairs is basically you know here I am I'm here I've got another year well probably about six months now so not really a year but you know it is what it is but anyway my advice is if you're coming here as a tourist and you're only staying for a month or whatever there's easier ways to do it you just simply buy, you know, the visa on arrival and all that. You know what I mean? And please don't ask me about the visa on arrival. I don't know. I don't know what the requirements are to get in. Just check on the government website. They'll tell you. It's really that simple. Or if you've gone for a visa agent and you've got like a B2 on one A, staying a bit longer or whatever, they'll tell you. They'll tell you what you need. All you got to do is ask them. Please ask someone who's professional in this matter and not me. <laughs> or even i wouldn't even ask any other youtuber either that's my advice because the information they give you is wrong sometimes the information i give you is good and current at that moment and then a week later that may be wrong it's just the way the cookie crumbles with this one you know what i mean so keep on top with you know keep the information that you're getting from the government website or if you got a visa agent, which I highly recommend you do if you're not absolutely know the knowledge rock solid of what you need visa wise and how to process it and everything. Go to a visa agent, it's so much simpler, it's so much easier. You know what I mean? But anyway, that's my quick little update on my visa. I'm here for another year. And uh I'll soon be posting on footage of my chickens, my little farming areas and stuff like that. It's, you know, it's a pastime. I want to get self-sufficient. That's the good thing about Indonesia is that everything here grows really well. So, anyway, if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. You know the deal. Anyway, thank you all for watching and ta -da.